since they started observing the world around them, humans have been trying to understand how it all works. Why does an apple fall from a tree? Why does the earth spin? Why does Barjo take so long to get up a flight of stairs? I'd just like to take my time, Darren. Stairs can be very dangerous. Mm, indeed. Well, one very important piece of this puzzle is physics, the study of matter as it moves through space and time, and what kind of forces and energy it uses along the way. Physics is a science that has been incredibly useful in video games. <laughs> yes, especially when it comes to puzzle games. Affirmative X and Contraption Maker is one such game. It encapsulates 140 puzzles of various difficulties, and it's the spiritual successor to the 90s classic the Incredible Machine, which I assume was named after me. Sure it was, Darren. <laughs> this is a puzzle game where you also make puzzles. You're given a level with one objective, like sending off a rocket or stopping a bunch of balloons from popping. So you have to insert and tweak bits and bobs of machinery and other objects to make the contraption work and achieve your goal. As you play through the puzzles, they do quite a good job of teaching you how everything works. And the interface is clean and easy to understand for the most part. Nothing feels too fiddly, so I'm glad they got this right, guys. Yeah, that's really important for a game like this. <clears throat> I personally loved the lasers! <gasps> Sorry, I'm just excited to have so many lasers at my disposal. I even built my very own Darren with additional lasers on my arms! <laughs> Building my lasers! I was quite impressed with the variety of puzzles and gadgets. As you mentioned, Darren, there are lasers that can pop balloons or manipulate colour to turn on even more lasers. Oh, laser bliss! Along with that, there are bouncing balls, switches and hamsters. So many things to play with, Hanks. Yeah, and when you start getting to the tougher puzzles, things get really complicated. My head began to hurt quite quickly. This game is good in short bursts, I think. If you play for too long, it can start to feel a bit like hard work. Yeah, that's true, Hex. Well, you two, building machines is hard work. I think Contraption Maker is very good at teaching compartmentalization. That's where you look at a problem in parts and try to solve each section on its own, forever working towards the final goal. It's a bit like how all my internal parts need to be precisely connected and kept in optimum condition to ensure my lasers are always fully operational. You do like to be prepared, Darren. I must say that while I liked being able to build my own contraptions, knowing where to start can be a little difficult. Thankfully, there are plenty of community-made levels out there that you can download and they help you work out the first steps. <laughs> What I like most about this game is how creative you can be. You can even build things with other people online, but I just wish it had a bit more personality to it. Yeah, I agree. It is a little mundane. And that music is pretty crazy. Yeah, I turned that off pretty quick. But guys, you know, this game sets out to do something and I think it does it pretty well, so I'm giving it 6 out of 10. Yeah, I like that little noise it makes every time you solve a puzzle. Whew. Phew! I'm going to give this six and a half out of ten. Right, you two, it's time to answer some questions. Oh, good idea. Oh, and remember, if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the precipitate. Oh, <laughs> yes. Science jokes. Oh, science jokes.